The First Battle of Springfield, Oregon's Agonese Charge was a battle of the American Civil War that occurred on October 25, 1861, in Greene County, Missouri. It was the only Union victory in southwestern Missouri in 1861. Prelude Having accomplished little since taking command of the Western Department with headquarters in St. Louis, Marge, Gen. John C. Fremont formulated a plan to clear Marge, Gen. Sterling Price's Confederates from the state and then, if possible, carry the war into Arkansas and Louisiana, leaving Street Lewis on October 7, 1861. Fremont's combined force eventually numbered more than 20,000. His accompanying cavalry force, numbering 5,000 men and other mounted troops, included Marge. Frank J. White's Prairie Scouts and Fremont's bodyguards under Marge, Charles Zagany, Marge. White became ill and turned his command over to Zagany. These two units operated in front of Fremont's army to gather intelligence. Facing Fremont's large advancing Union Army, Missouri State Guard Major General Sterling Price ordered a withdrawal from Springfield, Missouri. Other MSG forces organizing nearby attempted to link up with the Price's army at Springfield, only to find the place had already been abandoned. Battle Fremont camped on the Pomme de Terre River, about 50 miles from Springfield. Zagony's combined force of 326 men approached Springfield on the Mount Vernon Road. Frazier set up an ambush along the road that Zagony traveled. Zagony ordered a charge from the timbered bottomland of today's Jordan Creek, exhorting his men with, We have been called holiday warriors for the pavements of St. Louis. Let the watchword be, Fremont and the Union. After three charges the Confederates fled in disorder. Zagony's men continued into town, hailed federal sympathizers and released Union prisoners. Leary of a Confederate counterattack, Zagony departed Springfield before night, but Fremont's army returned in force a few days later and set up camp in the town. Casualties and aftermath Union casualties were reported as 15 killed, 27 wounded, and 10 missing, captured for Fremont's bodyguard, and 33 killed, wounded, and missing, captured for White's command, for a total of 85. Confederate casualties are unknown but estimated as 133. In mid-November, after Fremont was sacked and replaced by Marge, Gen. David Hunter, the Federals evacuated Springfield and withdrew to Sedalia and Rolla. Federal troops reoccupied Springfield in early 1862 and it was a Union stronghold from then on. Order of Battle Union Fremont's Bodyguards Major Charles Zagany, Major Frank White's Prairie Scouts, Casualties, 85, Confederate Missouri State Guard, Colonel Julian Frazier, Casualties, 132, 